Hello YouTube, and today we have another exciting update. We have frickin' warp drives. <laughs> How can nobody not be excited for that? Now I know everybody's excited for planets, as am I, and the new multiplayer and everything. But holy effing balls, I was not expecting this whatsoever. Um, <laughs> I've always wondered how they were going to get around the sim speed issue and uh, the other stuff associated with traveling very, very quickly. I mean, you basically phase through blocks and you, you can't get... Like, they have an amazing, amazing uh, crash physics in this game. So that that just totally disappears and anywhere above 150 meters per second. I know they say uh, it's less than that, but uh, I've only experienced it... Uh, on uh, anything that's now I know you guys are probably going, what the hell did you do to this ship? And uh, yeah, basically, I'm going to start off this little update of Space Engineers with uh, me crashing the blue ship into the red ship. Now, I've done this a few times in the past. Uh, one of my updates was for uh, bug fixes. The other one was for... Ah, excuse me. I just got back from Toronto. My throat's kind of... Eh. But... Uh, yeah, I mean, there, there's tons of, uh, of stuff that we can do in this game now. Uh, there's certain things that I, I'm not really going to do anything major in this game until they come into the game. Uh, the, the two biggest things, honestly, for me, is the new multiplayer and planets. It's After those two things, I, I couldn't give two shits. I mean, I'd like to see food, and I'd like to see um, more type of survival aspects in Space Engineers. But uh, aside from that, I mean, <laughs> there's not really a whole lot else that's going to be super crazy mandatory in my books for uh, I'm, I'm sure I'm forgetting stuff I mean I almost I almost guarantee that I'm forgetting something but uh, you guys usually tell me down in the comments uh, most of the time people are watching my KSP videos but every now and again some of you guys watch my uh, space engineers updates and uh, in case you're one of the people who watches my KSP uh, multiplayer series yes it's going to continue i'm just waiting on a few mods to get updated um before i start playing it again but you're more than welcome to follow the tutorial on my channel to uh, join the current uploaded server i wonder if this is going to be uh, i can probably get up to max speed from this distance i don't see why i couldn't it's aim right for the middle right there now i left the sim speed thing and now i know my frame rate's lower because i'm recording but even though my frame rate's lower my sim speed is is beautiful even with these ships right now uh, I mean I have almost zero complaints about the sim speed right now uh, I don't know if they patched that and they just didn't say anything about it to see what people would say or whatnot but since I've installed this update my sim speed has definitely been higher my frame rate's been lower uh, each time they come up with an update for some reason but uh, sim speed definitely been improved all right it's like a giant penis going through it. See, look. Oh, it's phasing through. Oh, this is an issue. There we go. See, then it all disappears. <laughs> look at that. It's just carnage. Absolute carnage. What just happened to my... Uh, Oh, I don't have enough. That's why I'm going, why the hell is it not working? All right, well, I don't know. I guess let's try the uh, the warp function. I bet you that's probably why most of you even clicked on the video was to see the warp. So uh, I'm just going to throw some large reactors down on this thing. Not really in a, anywhere too fancy, but uh, I don't really have much of a ship left. <laughs> wow. Take out the whole front. All right, well, we'll... Um, I guess attach it up here. There you go. Beautiful. Oh, way too many. Alright, now, in case you guys are wondering, there's a few key points uh, on these uh, warp drives here. Um, they charge... Oh, is that shit moving away from me? It is moving away from me. They charge at a... Uh, a max rate, meaning it doesn't, even if you stick 100 reactors, they're not going to charge any faster. Um, if you hook more than one up onto the ship, you can jump that much further, uh, but you also have to charge that much more. Now, um, as for using the jump drive, you have to use it here. Now, I don't remember if when you click 9, if it, uh, yeah, so you want to go into your, uh, your options first and control panel here. I've only done it once, so let's just see here. 
jump. Alright, here we go. So, as you guys probably saw in the dev blog here, you can do a blind jump or you can do a GPS coordinate one. Now, we're just going to do a blind jump, um, just for the sake of it. Let's do... I don't know. I don't want to go too far. Let's go 9 kilometers. Alright. So, that's perfect. Now, it's going to blindly jump us 9 kilometers. We hit 9. It says jump nest destination. Uh, ba -ba -ba -da. That's good. That's good. Hit yes. We have our countdown. Now, any loose blocks or uh, characters that aren't bolted down basically to the ship basically get left behind. The ship doesn't actually move. It just basically teleports. Now, they put a cool little animation here. And uh, here we go. So, we're here. Instantly. <laughs> so... Now, in case you're wondering why I did it so close, was so I can get a second go at this red ship. But uh, the jump drive is amazing. I mean, it, it's pretty self-explanatory on that front. Um, it's very, very easy to use. It can only be used on large ships. You can't use it on small ships, which is fine. Uh, that kind of power you're never going to get out of a small ship. It would be stupid. Um, but now I finally have ideas for when we get planets because basically nobody builds capital ships. You build a bunch of small ships, you send them out and whatnot, there's no point of building a capital ship. Now I know some of you are going to say, oh, but we build capital ships. On every server I've ever hosted, almost nobody built a capital ship. They're too much work and they're just not worth it whatsoever. Now that you have a jump drive, if you can jump all of your small ships and resources anywhere you want, you can make just a jump platform with a few, you know, thrusters and reactors on it and uh, you'll be able to actually do stuff with that now. There we go. Boom! So it kind of phases through. The sim speed drops down when we do big crashes like this. So let's push through it. <sighs> Not too much of the ship's left. Here. Here, I'll do a quick little spin here. There we go. Oh. Did I, did I crash the... Oh, no, didn't crash the game. All right, sim speed's back up to one. But, uh... Huh. Interesting. Yeah, definitely on overload here. So, yeah, I mean, it all depends on uh, what you guys are doing. Let's see here. I wonder if I can jump again. Now, see when it's blue like this, you can keep jumping. The further you jump, the more power drains out of it. But I'll show you here. Look, we're technically attached. Jump. And you're going to see none of this little bits of debris that are floating around me are going to move. It's just going to specifically be the ship. There we go. Oh. There we go. Scroll out again. Round three. This time it's going to be the station. And we'll probably finish off the ship because, I mean, there's not really a ship left. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, I mean, I, I'm, I'm pretty happy about this update. I, I kind of want to hear what you guys have to say about this. But, uh, I mean, <laughs> there's so many cool things that can be added into this game. There's there's so many ideas everybody has. And uh, I'm glad we get updates every week. Um, I definitely would like them to give us news, like updates, on how the multiplayer planets are coming along or an expected ETA. And I know they, they never do that because they don't want to commit to it if it's going to take longer or if they get problems or whatnot. But I, I'm, I'm excited for planets most excited for multiplayer because then I'm going to upload another game server for this and uh, that just means one more game I get to actually play with uh, all my fans and new people that are coming to my channel um, it's not always that fun playing uh, whoop, what the hell it's not always that fun playing games on your own it's always good to have uh, people that you can come on and play with so uh, yeah I mean I can't wait to see everybody out there but uh, there will be none of this nonsense on the server though or else you will be in trouble okay that's interesting. I've never had that shape happen out of a crash. Is that is that still a station? It shouldn't be. Huh. Oh, that's that option, I think. Oops, forgot about that. I didn't cover that because I didn't do last week's update. But uh, you can't do it. There's a world setting option. Basically, when stations uh, break pieces off, if they're not attached to a voxel, they'll kind of float away. Um, very, very cool. Makes the game much, much more realistic. Um, I, one of my biggest pet peeves about certain games like this is not rea really realistic with certain aspects, but uh, Space Engineers is definitely fun, so I, I'm willing to overlook a few details. 
My question is, how do you get fire in space with this? These things have lots of uh, health. There we go. All right, so standard uh, damage icon. It's I thought it would have done sparks, to be honest, but uh, I guess not. That's fine, though. There we go. Tracks the ship even more. I'm trying to get my sim speed down. I wonder if I plow the ship right through the other one, if it'll, uh, you know what, we'll target the solar panels. Come on, buddy. Oh god, terrible idea. What just happened? Where the hell? There it is. I accidentally hit T and ejected myself. Let's, let's go for round two on that one, that one was kind of odd. But uh, I want to know what you guys want to see more on the uh, the channel. Now that I'm back, i got a little bit more time to uh, to do stuff. <laughs> Mining ship. Take that! Alright. Let's turn these off. I'm going to go into third person view. <gasps> it just like bounced off. <laughs> that was awful. I got more guns. It's interesting how the small ships don't uh, do a lot of damage anymore. I mean, it's probably because there's no mass on it, but like, I'm, I'm basically rolling on this thing. A rock does more damage than a small ship. What the hell's going on with that? I didn't realize they had changed that. I'm going to do something that one of my friends would uh, call threading the needle. I'm going to crash this into the platform, see if I can punch a hole right through. And uh, that'll probably be it for this video. I mean, I've covered a few things that I wanted to cover. Um, I want to know if anybody else is uh, experiencing better uh, sim speed because uh, that was kind of unexpected. And it wasn't in any of the, uh, the dev notes. I don't know if they did anything to, uh, to tweak that. But uh, definitely when you put, like, really big creations, no. There's still a big issue with sim speed in the game. It's not uh, really truly multi-threaded. But... Uh, it's going to get there. Hopefully they'll implement DirectX 12, maybe the uh, API from there to kind of help out with the graphics a bit. DirectX 11 looks amazing. I can only imagine what the DirectX 12 shaders would look like in a game like this. But uh, yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out my other videos if you're looking for some uh, a good time. Check out my uh, KSP War series. Uh, a lot of people like that. That's where I get the most views on my channel. So uh, if you like Kerbal Space Program and you feel like seeing somebody do multiplayer war servers, then uh, give that a look. So until next time, guys. Have a good one.